Good morning, Broken Arrow. My name is Taylor and this is Ree. We can't wait to share with you all the news you need to know this week, VA. Let's kick off this episode with the big news with Allie. Hi guys, it's Allie Whittaker here and this is the big news. Broken Arrow Show Choir is having auditions on May 10th, 11th, 12th, and 13th. The audition starts after school until 6 p.m. in the Student Union. The requirements for the auditions are to sing the first verse of My Country Tis the Thee and learn the audition dance with the choreographer. And seniors, make sure to get your Chromebooks prepared with the Chrome desk before turning it in. Also, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who has listened to me for this whole school year. And for the last time, well, that's the big news. Broken Arrow High School's graduation ceremony is taking place at 7 p.m. on Thursday, May 20th at Broken Arrow High School's Memorial Stadium. Each graduate can have up to six guests. All information on how to claim tickets along with further information about graduation can be found at baschools.org. Don't forget, May 18th is the 12-year senior breakfast from 7 to 8 a.m. in the Varsity Club. This event is for seniors who have attended BA schools grades 1 through 12. Next fall, Tulsa Community College classes will be back in person at the NSU BA campus. BA provides transportation and textbooks for these classes. It is an affordable way to earn college credit while also earning high school credit. Juniors and seniors can enroll in most classes with an unweighted GPA of 3.2. There will be an information session on May 12th during advisory if you would like more information about taking college classes while in high school. See Mrs. McDonald in the Media Center for more information. Project graduation will take place at BAHS beginning at 10.30 p.m. after the graduation ceremony and ending at 2 a.m. Students must participate in the graduation ceremony and have a valid wristband to end a project graduation. Some of the activities at project graduation include casino nights, a comedian hypnotist, inflatables, a photo booth, a silent dance, and prizes. Next up, we have Ethan with sports. What a game. What a game by Broken Arrow. Man. Mustang goes out. First loss of the season. Hey Tiger fans, I'm Ethan Scott, back with some more GNBA sports. Let's get right into it. First up, boys soccer ended up defeating Union 3-1 and will advance to the state semifinal Tuesday night at Kirkland Activity Center against nationally ranked Mustang. Since we record GNBA sports on Monday, hopefully we'll find out that the Tigers will be advancing to the state championship this weekend, which will be played at Rogers State University. Girls soccer ended up losing in a heartbreaker to Bixby 3-2. They finished the season 12-3. It was a hard-fought game, and the girls had a great season. Congrats, ladies. If you're interested in being a part of the team next year, the 2021 to 2022 girls soccer tryouts will be held at the Kirkland Activities Complex from May 18th to May 19th from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. For more info, email batigersoccerboosterclub at gmail.com. Congrats to Coach Scott Wilkinson, his staff, and all of our BA track and field student athletes on sweeping the OSSAA Class 6A Regional Championships in both boys and girls at Ponca City. Their next meet will be the state meet at Edmond, Santa Fe, on Saturday, May 15th. BA Boys Tennis is participating in regionals this week at the Union Tennis Center, while the Boys Golf State Tournament was Monday and Tuesday at Forest Ridge here in BA. Finally, Girls Golf shot a two-day 639 to finish third in the 2021 Class 6A State Golf Tournament at the BA Golf and Athletic Club. We're very proud of you girls. Well, that's all the news I have for you guys this week. For more info, follow at BA Tiger Sports on all social media platforms. I'm Ethan Scott, and I'll see you guys next time.
here. We might be like a mile away, but can you still hear me, Mason? Can you see me yet? Am I in frame? Am I here? Am I in frame? Like how close are we talking? What are you doing over the summer? What are your summer break plans? Probably just working a lot. Come on, you can't waste your whole summer working. You're about to be in the next grade. So is that really all you're gonna do is work? Yeah, probably. Work? This is what I did junior year. I wasted my summer. I did nothing but worked seven days a week, 45 hours a week. I was getting overtime. Don't be like me. So what are you doing for your summer break? Shoot, I'm probably just gonna work and then get that bread. And when I'm not working and getting that bread, I'm probably just gonna be teeing up. Don't waste your summer on work. Hey, do you have a good summer break plan? Just summer school and work? Um, probably nothing, get a job. Probably nothing, get, getting a job. <laughs> she copied the test and still got it wrong. Sir, we have an important question for you. Very important question. Super important question. Can you come closer to the mic? So <laughs> what are your plans for this summer break? <laughs> Why did he move away? Don't even come near me till June. I will be sitting at the pool until at least July the 4th, okay? I'm going to a pool and, an, and the Oklahoma Aquarium. Okay, okay, I like That's that. Better That's better answers than I've been getting. All people want to do is work. Making money is good and all, but making money isn't everything. It's more than just you. It is your livelihood. You are who you it's are. It's us. It's us. It's us. Teachers, if you would like one final message to be broadcast on next week's last GMBA episode of the school year, please send those requests to bahspulse at gmail.com. That's all we have for you this week, BA. Don't forget to follow us at BAHS Pulse on Instagram for all of the best student produced content. Thanks for watching.